This is another piece that I really like. You have probably seen it before. When you Google alcohol propaganda, this is probably the first hit you're going to get. But that is interesting, because it is not a very creative take on the topic. It's just a guy saying no to an alcoholic beverage. Take for example this one. I like this one not as much, but still quite a lot. I think this is a much more creative idea. The alcoholic is trapped by the alcohol. Yet, despite it being creative, I speculate that this would be very ineffective as a propaganda piece. The poor motherfucker is trapped and miserable. That may be an accurate portrayal, but it is a depiction in which the alcoholic would not recognize themselves. This, I think, makes the piece dismissible, ineffective. This is why the simplicity of the note poster is powerful. Like any piece of propaganda, it knows that it mustn't contradict what the viewer thinks they know of the world. The only representation of the alcoholic themselves is the hand holding the glass. The piece paints no picture of them. So they are unable to answer by saying that it fails to depict them accurately. Instead, the focus is on the sober man. The depiction of the sober man will most likely ring true. It is likely that the alcoholic knows a sober person, and it's also likely that it is a person who, like the man in the picture, is doing well. They probably have their life on the rails. Well dressed, well groomed, and eating what in this time period is probably seen as advisable items of food. This is a thing that the alcoholic can recognize. It is possible that I even experienced something quite close to this very situation. The propagandist invites us to admire this man for the act of refusing a thing that many people are unable to refuse. That, I think, is excellent propaganda. 